that toucan has stolen your house while you were gone. Can you believe that? Get it. Get it, Maeve. Guys, look what we have. Toucan merch. And it's Maeve approved. We now have an array of brand new designs on both hoodies and long sleeves for this winter, and they're my absolute favorite yet. Plus, all proceeds go towards helping the birds and rescuing new toucans in the future. Thanks so much guys for checking this out and enjoy the video. Hey guys, so we just got back home. It's about 5 p.m. Uh, after a trip that took a little bit longer than what we were expecting originally, but we're finally back. And I just thought it would be fun if we did like a reverse of what we did before where it was like the birds reacting to me. But instead now we're going to do the birds reacting to them coming back home. So, but we're all together of course. It's been about two weeks. But um, it was a successful trip. Um, what can I say? I'll talk a little bit more about it inside. But let's get the carriers inside and we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back here. We still have our uh, toucan head <laughs> from the... Uh, video we shot beforehand, but, uh, you know. Let's, let's start with Maeve. She's a little more anxious to get out. Um, she's in this little backpack carrier thing. This was actually Ripley's that has now been handed down to Maeve, so. Hold on. I think you've made a nice banana pudding in there for us. <laughs> Why won't the zipper come on then? Come on. Okay. Go on. There we go. Hard to do that with one hand. Let's get this up. Oh, right on the phone. <laughs> That toucan has stolen your house while you were gone. Can you believe that? Get it. Get it, Maeve. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's get Tupac out. Okay. You ready, buddy? Come on. Good boy. Try to ignore their uh, poop in there. I'm gonna go back to your spot. Man, maybe he's really going to town on that thing. Well, she's not afraid of it. That's a good thing. She just wants to kill it now. <laughs> Alright. Let's go put Tupac in his spot. His old man recliner. It's cool how they remember everything still. Maeve went straight over to the food, of course. We'll get we'll get everyone fed and uh, can you not can you not poop on the couch? Okay, well he just pooped on the couch. Great. You know that basket is there so that you poop in it. Like just turn around. Oh, it wasn't that much at least. Um, where are you going? Where do you want to jump to? Huh? You want to go back? You want to go down with Maeve? There, you know how to get down. But, anyways, let's go around and we can watch them. I need to get them some fruit and everything. The freaking plant's dying. <laughs> uh, we were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. And, uh, you know, didn't end up that way. So I didn't clean up like I should have before I left because I didn't think it was going to be that long. But you can do it. I believe in you. There you go. I gotta get you some water and some food. Some nice pellets. But, um, so we went to, uh, the birds weren't a part of this, but we went to film at the Dallas World Aquarium, which is gonna be a video coming out soon. It's the place where I kind of fell in love with toucans as a kid and uh, I really wanted to work with them on something so they were kind enough to let us in but, uh, an hour or two before opening to get some footage and stuff like that and we're just going to do kind of a little tour with me as your guide and then um, we also, which, which this is the reason I brought the birds with me, 
was we met with some people that might help us in uh, doing demonstrations and things like that with the birds. So, like meet, kind of like a meet and greet thing, but I would do it. It wouldn't just be for people who watch the channel. It would just be to make a little extra money to help with the moving and uh, building new facilities and whatever new birds might come about that needs help or that need help. And, uh, you know, just be kind of informational demonstration slash photo ops and they can interact with the birds and feed them and things like that in the, in the Texas area. I'm not really sure how wide that span's going to be or what we're going to charge, but it seemed pretty promising and I didn't want to do it if it was going to be too much of a stress on the birds and based on what I've heard from them it, it seems like that shouldn't be a problem so I'm really excited about that in the future I think it's going to be a really cool educational opportunity that will also help with housing the bird new birds and things like that because I really want to move and build um, build facilities outside with flights and things like that for you know more birds because eventually you know I think we could have up to six to eight birds including ones that live purely outside whether they're retired breeders or just not socialized to humans and things like that but that's the dream you know and I've wanted to do something like that since I was a kid now originally I would tell people I wanted to breed toucans but after actually having toucans and just being in the community and seeing what happens to a lot of them that are sold as pets I think that a rescue would be much better and a lot of people have also asked as well if I've considered doing a nonprofit. the answer is yes um, I'm still considering it I'm just worried about how the logistics of that mixed with the YouTube and everything like that are going to work I don't know I'm trying to work through it I definitely want to move I think before I do that but it's definitely a direction I want to move towards in the future because it's not too dissimilar to what I'm doing now. It's just more on an official capacity. So, and I, I don't know. It's just uh, definitely need, <laughs> I think I probably, although there is, well, there was a guy that had, what did I read? Some guy built, like, started a nonprofit and built a whole house, like a giant house for him. Where did Maeve go? Maeve, what are you doing? Are you like between the wall and the couch? What are you doing back there? Come here. What are you doing? It's dirty back there. Okay, well, there's nothing back there she can get into. Oh, there she is. But, um, this guy built this giant house for him and these dogs that he rescued, and he has the nonprofit, from what I understand. I guess it's not too dissimilar from that, except for, you know, it's a, probably a much weirder guy with two cans in his house. <laughs> But, uh, you know, um, what am I trying to say? I'm, I, I don't know. I feel weird about wanting to do a non-profit or something like that when it's just me operating out of my house right now. I feel like I need a facility or something or, you know, out, outdoor enclosures or something before I can feel, I don't know if, if comfortable is the right word, just like, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I mean... Obviously, in the future, we are definitely working towards rescuing more birds, and I can handle having them. A lot of people were concerned about that. It's not like Maeve and Tupac are going to get less attention if we have more birds, because not all the birds are going to be as socialized as they are. So, But that's definitely a direction I want to move towards, and maybe in the future it can even grow big enough to where we could have... Vol There's no water in there, dude. I need, I need to go get them water. I need to wrap this up so I can get them fed and watered and all that, but his maybe's eating <laughs> pellets off the floor right now, but um, yeah, that's definitely the goal and um, I just wanted to let everyone know that that is something I'm working towards, so I just don't know what it, at what capacity and when it's all going to happen, but I know for sure I want to move and live in a place that I feel comfortable investing into, you know, a lot of money into, uh large outdoor enclosures and things like that and a place for me to spend the rest of my life with the birds so we'll see what happens i think texas is a really great place for that because you know there's a lot of resources and vet veterinary clinics that are qualified to handle 
birds and especially more exotic birds like toucans and then of course there's the Dallas World Aquarium which has one of the largest collections of toucans in the world and hopefully we'll be able to work with them a little bit more and just stuff like that I think that could be a really cool opportunity in the future and we're just in baby steps right now but we'll see what happens you know hopefully my plan is to move next year so I'm, I'm going to start clearing this house out, I think, soon and selling all the stuff I don't need so I can just kind of start fresh with the birds. But just wanted to let everyone know, and we wanted to see how the birds, um, yeah, they're both very thirsty. So I need to go get them fed and watered. And we will, of course, see you tomorrow or possibly the next day. I'm not sure. But uh, we have a lot of stuff coming out. So keep, keep up to date on Instagram. And, um... <laughs> Check out the merch. We have new merch, and it's definitely my favorite merch by far of the merch that we've done so far. So, yeah, there's food in there, buddy. There's food in there, but there's also food in your bowl over here. So I don't know what you're doing over there. Yeah, I, I do find it, I find it fascinating that we've been here for, or we've been gone for like two weeks, but they remember where everything is, like, and they feel confident and comfortable in the house. It took them, in the apartment we stayed in, it took them a few days to really warm up to the idea of being in a new place, and then they didn't really get fully comfortable until a few days before we came back home, but it's really interesting. They have they have very good memories. You wouldn't think they would, but... Okay, alright, we're going to get you water, buddy. We're going to clean that out, and uh, I promise I'll stop talking to the internet now. <laughs> but we'll see everyone next time. And I uh, just hope you all have a good night. Bye for now.